Today's the day, my friends. We potentially have ourselves the final trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet before they release. Let's go. All right, here we go. The newest chapters in the Pokemon series, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> Okay, so we just finished watching the trailer here. First of all, I'm just gonna give you guys my thoughts real quick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the trailer definitely wasn't as long as I think people were hyping it up to be. You know, we were all kind of hyping it up because this is, I guess, would be considered the last and final trailer before release. So we were kind of thinking that, oh, you know, this is probably going to be a big one. They're probably going to drop a lot more information, that sort of thing. Did that happen? Yes and no. And here's why. Okay, let's go into the actual trailer itself. I, there's a few things that I wanted to just kind of point out that I noticed, and then we can discuss. We'll just break it down real quick here. Okay, so uh, as you guys could see, so we're just starting this trailer off now you know they, they don't really show us anything new at the moment also real talk for a second though quaxley is way bigger than i thought he would be compared to like the actual trainer like how big quaxley is to the trainer he's actually like low-key pretty huge anyway <laughs> moving on as you guys could see here right so we basically we have Coridon and maridon obviously assuming after we meet them for the first time looks like they're just waking up or something like that anyway real quick though you guys see those paintings in the background those hand-drawn paintings which one do you see there that we haven't probably seen yet you guys see it you see what i'm seeing that's a ditto i think it's safe to say he's probably in this game okay we got riolu in the back uh, i can't really tell what that other pokemon is right where that kid's knee is i don't know it's kind of hard to see i'm not too sure what that is so then we have the uh, the headmaster or grandmaster whatever the, what's his name cleval cleaver <laughs> Whatever, right? So he's basically explaining the treasure hunt. The treasure hunt begin. This is probably one of the first Pokemon centers that we see. Our house is in the background there. Or that could possibly be the professor's lab, maybe. Not too sure on that, but it does seem like it's fairly close to where our, our starting point is. Also, we have an orange stand to the left. I wonder if that would be grapes if we were playing Violet. Okay, so then we're just kind of overlooking the city here, using our uh, camera function, picnics. So not nothing, nothing crazy right now, right? A little bit of sandwich action here. And then you guys could see that I guess this is when we meet Cloth for the very first time, and he's holding the Herba Mystica. So then this is kind of interesting here. So now I'm wondering if you guys think that if he ingests that Herba Mystica, do you think that it, it kind of like gives him this power? Like I'm, I'm almost trying to think, right? Like, like where do they come from, right? Is it possible that they're just oversized normal Pokemon, but then once they ingest this herb, as you guys can see, there's like this whole light show going on, and I'm wondering if all of a sudden now they just become a titan i don't know i'm not too sure I'm a bit curious to see what's going on here anyway so let's move on and look at that guys as you guys can see we have a giraffe rig who's fighting a graffi eye but if you guys notice there's another graffi eye in the background that's spectating the battle exactly how it was mentioned when the reviewers got to play test the game where you know pokemon are just going to be out in the wild they'll spectate your battles they won't join in but very interesting that we get to see that in the trailer okay and now this is us uh going to starfall street so we're fighting team star and then of course we're fighting Mela and we're actually seeing a little bit more of the engine Pokemon right here. So now I'm wondering if this is the point of the battle where we get to fight the engine. So after we fight Mela's Torkoal, I don't know if she has any other Pokemon, but after we defeat them, we then have to fight the engine Pokemon at the end. We'll see. The treasure hunt has no set course or criteria you must follow. Okay, so this is very important, guys. With regards to this treasure hunt, there's not going to be a set path. This just further reinforces the fact that we're able to fight any gym leader that we want in any order, to likely fight or find any Titan Pokemon that we want in any order. It's just really driving home the point that we're able to do whatever we want to do and whenever we want to do it. Simply go where your heart takes you and you shall do splendidly. There you go, guys. So I have another question here, right? Of all the media, all the outlets, everything that we've seen, all these trailers, we still don't know anything about Penny. Like, I, I almost forgot that Penny is even in this game. <laughs> I almost forgot her name. It makes me wonder, right? We have Nimona, who's going to be for the gym challenge. We have Arvin, who's Path of Legends treasure hunt thing. But then we have this third friend slash rival penny which we know nothing about yet so if we already have two story arcs covered what does this mean 
for Penny. Is she involved with Team Star in any possible way? Listen, I don't actually know. I don't know. But I feel like there's something going on here. It, it, she probably has some sort of involvement. Is she like related to Mela in some way? I don't know. Well, we're gonna have to wait and find out. <laughs> New Pokemon trainers are the treasure of Paldea. The treasure of Paldea. Isn't that interesting wording, right? We're talking so much about this treasure hunt. Everyone's talking about treasure, right? How goes your treasure hunt? Figured out what you're hunting for yet? A treasure of our very own. Everyone's talking about this treasure. Everyone's talking about this treasure. Treasure this, treasure that. But we ourselves are the treasure as well. <laughs> Maybe we're actually, maybe this whole game, maybe this whole game, we're not actually searching for treasure, but rather we're searching for the treasure within ourselves, trying to become the best Pokemon trainers that we can be. I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I just think there's a very strong, important message that's being said here. Anyway, also real quick, I could see in the background there, looks like there's some sort of eyewear glasses shop. So this further alludes to the fact that, you know, we're going to have these different stores for accessories and that sort of thing. I promise that it'll be an experience worth treasuring if you come. Okay, okay. So it's possible, you know, maybe our, uh, our professors here, they're trying to entice us to go somewhere maybe they're talking about the center of the map i don't know we'll see okay so here we go guys so this to me is the most important part of the trailer this is the biggest thing you guys see you see what we're looking at here does this look like a dawn fan a little bit but is it a dawn fan look Tell me how we have two very different looking Dawn fans. You're telling me this doesn't look like some prehistoric Dawn fan? Look at that thing. And then we have this one here that, that's like looking super futuristic, very digital. Like look at those digital eyes. Who else has digital eyes in this game? Hmm. I think it's it's becoming very obvious that there is something going on here. There is a link between Cyclozar and Coridon slash Maridon. It seems like the legendaries that we get to ride on in this game are either prehistoric, past, or futuristic present day Cyclozar. If it wasn't obvious at this point, it is now. And, uh, and that's all we really get to see regarding that. So that's just making me very excited. Okay, and then another cool thing. So we have these raid dens here, but they're more like these like crystal formations just kind of jetting from the ground. Something brand new that we haven't seen before. We get to see the dragon terrestrialization hat or form, if you want to call it that. And you know what? I don't mind it. I mean, like, I know it's like, there's a lot going on here, but it's still kind of cool. And the final thing that we're left with in this trailer is the center of Aldea, that area that's shrouded in mystery. And as you guys can see, our legendary boys are uh, flying out of it. So obviously something is going on in that center that has to do with these past and future form type of Pokemon. What exactly? We don't know, but clearly something goes on in there and our legendary maybe escapes. They're flying out of it for a reason. Who knows? All right, so let's expand a little bit more on this past and future type of stuff. So if we look on the website here, we have something called the Scarlet Book and the Violet Book. What does that mean? Let's find out. So the Scarlet Book, which will appear in Pokemon Scarlet, and the Violet Book, which will appear in Pokemon Violet, makes sense, are records from an expedition and they were written long, long ago. The expedition is said to have traversed an uncharted area of the Paldea region, but whether or not the accounts depicted in the books are true remains unclear. Photographs and sketches of unidentified creatures fill the pages of the Scarlet Book and Violet Book. Okay, look guys, the monster known as Great Tusk. That's a very odd name. The book describes how this savage monster attacked the expedition team with its large body and tusks, mortally wounding one of the explorers. And then we have the monster known as Iron Treads. It is said that when this monster curls its body and rolls to attack, it leaves a trail gouged into the ground as if it had scorched the earth. Great Tusk will be depicted in the Scarlet Book and Iron Treads will be depicted in the Violet Book. I think it's safe that we can assume that this is not going to be for every single Pokemon, right? This is something that's going to be for only a select few. So obviously when we have Pokemon Scarlet, we're going to be seeing these like ancient past forms. And if we play Violet, we're only going to be seeing these future futuristic forms. Let's call them that. But it makes me wonder though, right? Is this going to be locked to the post game? Is this something where we're only going to be able
able to find them once we go into that middle center area? Or are we going to be able to find them in certain areas of Paldea? Very special selected area where we be, we'll be able to find and catch these types of Pokemon. Another thing that's very interesting to me, like look at the names, right? Great Tusk, Iron Treads. It's like they're not even depicted as Pokemon. They're just like these crazy creatures, right? Fabled stories that are maybe just myths that no one ever actually believes, but they're only theorized about in this book. I'm really digging, I'm liking this whole story that they're going with here. And it's reminding me of the Ultra Beasts from Pokemon Sun and Moon. These Ultra Beasts, they played a part of the story. They weren't obviously accessible right away. It was more locked to end game slash post game. I'm just so excited to find out and to learn how we get to interact with these Pokemon, how and when we get to find and eventually catch them, I'm assuming. I want to see more about these Pokemon. Okay, so there's a few more things that we have to discuss here. So updates are planned for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet after release. As customary, you know, once the game is released, we usually get that day one patch. This is kind of just to smooth any other bug fixes and stuff like that. But this is also to allow us to have uh, online play and connectivity. And then we just have a, a very quick brief rundown of things that you can do via online play. Take on special terror raid battles so you can participate in terror raid battle events by receiving the latest Poke Portal data. A steady stream of these events is planned to take place after the release of Scarlet and Violet. Very similar to Pokemon Sword and Shield, you know how we had those raid den updates. It seems like they're going to be doing the exact same thing with this game. We're going to get regular updates, we're going to get special events. Now the more important thing, you guys notice uh, a little something here? Our boy Charizard making it into the game again. Boom! Confirmed. Charizard's in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Is he part of the regional decks? Probably not. Does that mean that we're gonna have Blastoise line and Venusaur line? I'm not too sure. I don't know what it is with Game Freak, but it always seems like Charizard is favored over all the other starters. Listen, I'm not complaining. I love Charizard. Uh, you know, Team Charizard all the way. We'll see if we end up getting any other starters through Terror Raid battles. Battle with Pokemon trainers from all over the world in the Battle Stadium. So we're gonna have ranked matches and we're gonna have unranked matches. Pretty standard stuff. We saw this at the end of the trailer. You get in-game Rotom phone cases with play records from past Pokemon games. So if you have play records from Legends Arceus, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, Sword, Shield, let's Let's go Pikachu or let's go Eevee. You'll be able to receive a Rotom phone case in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet with a design inspired by the game the play records are from. You can receive these Rotom phone cases by talking to the woman in front of the stairs leading up to Mesagoza's central plaza. It takes approximately two hours of playtime to reach the point where this feature is available. Alluding to the fact that the first couple hours of the game, they might, you know, hold our hand a little bit. <laughs> Maybe a bit more than a little bit. I don't know. No, we'll see. But this kind of gives us a general idea of, okay, once we're two hours into the game, I guess that's when the real game begins and we're set off to pick whatever path we want to go. And that's when the game kind of opens up. Okay, so some more big news here. So use Pokemon Home and enjoy Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This is confirmation. We're going to get Pokemon Home functionality for these games. Bring selected Pokemon from past games to the Paldea region. So as you guys could see, because we have these Hisuian forms, it's very likely we're going to be able to transfer all the brand new Hisuian form Pokemon via home. Compatibility between Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and home is slated for spring 2023. So there you go. Terra Raid battle events give you the chance to encounter certain Pokemon or Terra types. Catch Eevee in Terra Raid battles during the Eevee spotlight. If you guys look here, it actually shows us where they will be on the map, where the den is. So we have our first Terra Raid battle event, which is going to be the Eevee spotlight it's going to take place from November 24th to November 27th. During this event, Eevee is going to be appearing more frequently in Terra Raid battles and they will have various Terra types, which is pretty sweet. I like that. And the last piece of information that we know here, we get a little bit more information how we get our Charizard. Catch an unrivaled Charizard in Black Crystal Terra Raid battles. So during your adventures in the Paldea region, you may find Black Crystals that look different than the ones you ordinarily approached. The Pokemon you'll 
face at these black terror crystals are much stronger than those that appeared at ordinary terror raid crystals and defeating them can get you rewards that are even more exciting than usual so as we're walking around we're gonna see that we have these like dark looking crystals so this is how you know it's gonna be one of like those stronger raid dens and you can see it on the map here charizard with the mightiest mark will be appearing at black terror raid crystals during two time periods so event schedule so thursday december 1st to december 4th and then again from december 15th to december 18th charizard cannot normally be encountered in paldea and the charizard appearing during this event has dragon as its terra type a mark for a pokemon caught in a seven star terra raid battle there's its typing there's its terra type but if you look here it's level 100 which is pretty crazy so is it possible seven star raid battles are all level 100 pokemon i feel like that there's a good chance it might be this is not confirmation and maybe it's just for this charizard event specifically but it's kind of hard to overlook that detail there we'll have to wait and see it will have the same mark ability and moves regardless of when it is caught this special charizard can be caught only one oh okay here we go so it can be caught only once per save data so you'll still be able to participate in black crystal terror raid battles and receive rewards even after you've already caught the charizard with the mightiest mark charizard may appear again in other events or be encounterable in different ways in the future okay so it is possible we may have access to charizard in other ways shapes and forms that isn't just locked to these terror raid battles we'll be able to take on terror raid battles at black crystals after completing certain post game events so to me it sounds like you know we're going to be able to play through the game we're going to have you know certain star level terror raids but nothing nothing crazy but once we beat the game in our post game is when we'll be able to see these black crystals and these seven star dens i feel like this is confirmation that the type of den star rating that we see is going to be linked to our story progression and it is very telling that they're saying you know you'll only be able to take on these black crystals after completing certain post game events players who haven't completed these events may still participate in these terror raid battles by joining another trainer's terror raid battle whether they're in a multiplayer group or using a link code okay so that's basically all the the news information that we got from the websites here you know what although we didn't get exactly a, a big trailer i feel like they really gave us a lot of good information even just on the website itself we've learned quite a bit regarding these whole raid dens and how they work now we know about these black crystals seven star raid dens these past and future form pokemon i feel like the picture is now much clearer regarding these terror raid dens and how they're gonna work i think a lot of us were kind of hyping this trailer up to be like the last big one before release we didn't exactly get that but that's okay we still are left with some very important little bits of information here for me the biggest takeaways obviously being those past and future type of pokemon they just tease that little bit and i don't think we're gonna find anything else out about it until the game's actually out you don't want to give too much away because they they want to leave these things as a mystery right we already know that the game is already starting to leak you know there's already spoilers everywhere which by the way guys if, if you want to avoid leaks if you want to avoid spoilers i highly suggest you stay off the internet <laughs> i know it's hard don't go on twitter i'll just say that i'm pretty happy overall with what we saw let me know what you guys think in the comments below are you guys happy with this trailer are you a little bit disappointed do you feel like they could have given us more anyway thank you all so much for watching i do appreciate it if you found this video helpful if you found it informative or just overall if you just found the video fun please be sure to give it a like share it with your friends if you really liked it i would honestly appreciate if you guys could hit that subscribe button we're getting closer to a thousand subscribers and just very grateful i would just really appreciate if you guys could help me out with that more pokemon content coming soon take care of yourselves and i'll see you guys in the next video all the best guys take care